All right, we're back here at NAM 2019. And here's some folks I've always wanted to talk to because I've known about their microphones for many years. Uh, Octava, which has been around for a long time. Uh, Octava, better. Octava. O Octava. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My Russian's not so great. But anyway, we're talking to Lubov yeah. and Mark. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Octava. Uh, so, Octava is an old Russian company. The factory is located in Tula. Uh, this is a little bit south, uh, on uh, southern uh, uh, from Moscow. Mm -hmm. uh, the factory is om uh, almost 100 years old. So, uh, what we produce? We produce uh, professional studio microphones. We are producing uh, instrumental microphones, broadcasting microphones. And we uh, now we are developing new vocal dynamic microphones. Excellent. What is it that makes these microphones so different from other ones? Aside from the fact that they're made in Russia. Okay. <laughs> what makes them different? Uh, traditional European designs, of course, as you know, um, the, especially in the large diaphragm condensers. The Octava microphones of today are more like the German microphones of 40 years ago. Octava kind of stayed in that tradition, whereas a lot of places have gone to Chinese manufacturing or some some manufacturing somewhere, uh, little printed circuit boards. Octava's really kept their line kind of vintage. In what way? I mean, using, uh, just, not just transistors, but using tubes? And yeah, tubes, yeah, definitely. Tube mics are important. Uh, the transformer coupled microphones. So, um, uh -huh. so the, and the transformers are made in the same factory. Uh, so that, that's really exciting and that's very unique. A lot of people just kind of get their transformers from wherever, but these Octavos are made top to bottom in their own factory. Yeah. Now, it's it's all sorts of mics. It's studio condenser mics. You also make a ribbon mic, which is... Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is, I, I, I've always been fascinated by ribbon mics and the Octavos were always the ones that a lot of people would talk about. They're a very unique design, I think, because it's a dual ribbon. It's a dual ribbon that's a long ribbon. Because of the dual ribbon, they needed to make a transformer with an incredible ratio, something like 40 to 1. The transformers were made specifically by Octava for these microphones, and just a real kind of a, a engineering feat to make this transformer, and that's what makes me unique. Wow. What are price points on these, these types price of Price points, the, the basic ribbon, uh, kind of in the $350 to $400 street price range, you can get... Um, we have one right over here. Um, there are two ribbon microphone models that Octava offers now with slight differences, but, but with the same design, that dual ribbon, and also the um, you know, their own made transformers. Yeah. Now, what about your, your regular studio condenser mics? Those are... I, are there they're ones that are just straight, uh, you know, solid state, or are they all, well, all two mics? This one. So this one, everyone will kind of recognize. Uh, this is the one that everyone has a couple of them in their closet. Yeah. And, uh, but they're in use in most studios today. The legendary MK012. Um, and the Octava is still making that microphone. And this is actually, it's a FET-based microphone, and it's capacitor coupled. Not transformer coupled. A different design. So, of course, all the tube microphones are, are transformer coupled. But also, uh, a lot of the FET-based... Uh, in these other parts of the line, they're also transformer coupled, but this is a very unique design. What that does, uh, having that uh, capacitor coupling, is gives you a really interesting, robust low end. Yeah. That's not boomy, but doesn't get choked off. Right. Yeah. So these are uh, new uh, microphones. Mm -hmm. This is a new product range. So uh, on that uh, side is like traditional, classic products, and right. this is uh, these are new, new design. What's unique about these new designs? So, uh, you know, it's like uh, for Octave, it is not new because uh, our flagship model, MKL5000, right. uh, has the same design, bottle design. So, and this is like a continue of uh, MKL5000. So, this is a uh, principal new uh, technical idea inside, a new design. 
uh, robots design, metal body. So it has, uh, this product is uh, just started sales. Mm -hmm. So this product is very interesting. Yeah, I would, I would love to demo these and see really what they sound like. Clearly they look very yeah, different, yeah. Yeah. but it's not how they look, it's how they sound. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure they have a very unique and, and nice sound to them. This is the, uh, the 111. It is designed to be uh, that flagship studio microphone, the one that all the vocals end up going through. And what it does, you know, it's a tube condenser microphone, uh, but very quiet. Um, Preamp design, quiet enough to use in voiceover. Uh, not, you know, some, especially the Asian made tube condenser microphones, the noise floor is kind of high on them. Right. And um, also, what I like to call radio ready sound. Uh, a touch of compression, a touch of high pass, maybe like maybe it dies off at like 40 or something. Yeah. And just a little bit of just um, yeah, designed to be the flagship microphone for a studio. If you're gonna have one, here's one to have.